Someone said to me this morning that Pastor Chuck is not here. That's actually inaccurate. Pastor Chuck Sr. is here today, along with Betty. Um, it's interesting that it takes two to replace one. Past, Pastor Chuck and Betty, we're so happy to have you with us. We just feel that you, is, you are so much part of our family. And I know on behalf of the congregation, we just have a sense of excitement, and we're so happy to see you when you come back to Dobbins. So welcome this morning. Glad to see you. Uh, just a quick note, Pastor Chuck is actually, I think the Lanco camp is actually in process or getting started for a camp meeting. So Pastor Chuck's involved with the Lanco camp and camp meeting. So that's why Pastor Chuck is not here today. And that's why we have Senior and we have Betty with us this morning. I have to laugh when I'm asked to be the lay assistant on Sunday morning uh, because back in the day, I was just said, peek ahead, run the service, and do what you do, and then when it's time to preach, turn over to the preacher. And I guess apparently, I've been known to fracture some of the itinerary on Sunday morning. So the last couple of times I've gotten a note uh, about what's going on, and it's always in here now. He has, as usual, asked us that we stick to the script. So, I am going to stick to the script, okay? And the script has me bringing up two very important announcements this morning. And the announcements I need to share with you this morning is, the first one is that on Saturday, July 21st, we'll be having a covered dish barbecue at 6 p.m. Dobbins will provide the hamburgers, hot dogs, rolls, along with the condiments. And we are asking those to bring side dishes. This is in your bulletin, I believe. I don't think I really need to read the whole announcement, but we have the opportunity to bring a young man named Timothy Noble in, very talented pianist and singer. It's gonna be a wonderful concert. So I would ask you just to put that on your calendar. You know, it's kind of neat. We have access to a lot of talent. Just a couple weeks ago, we had Steve Moritz in this group up here. Did a phenomenal job. What a blessing that was. Now we have the opportunity to bring someone else in. So. It's a good time for us to get together and have conversation and sit around the table. Because I know on Sunday morning we kind of rush in and we say a quick hi to our neighbors and then we kind of leave again. So this is a time just to sit together and have fellowship. Uh, the second announcement that I'm asked to share is that Heather Phillips and Reverend Chuck Mitchell would like to thank everyone who helped with Vacation Bible School this year. Every teacher's aid, those involved in snacks, crafts, and activities, and Pastor Chuck would especially like to thank Heather for leading us in our week-long adventure. All of you enabled us to know, listen, and love the children of our community. Reverend Chuck Mitchell would like to thank every parent, grandparent, and loved one who trusted us with your children. We look forward to the upcoming community activities in the fall. Uh, just real quick, is anyone here this morning that was involved in VBS? Would you please stand for a minute so we can just recognize you? Would you please stand? Don't be shy. We want to thank you. Thank you. Okay, following the script, let us start off our service with the opening, our opening hymn number 98, To God Be the Glory. Please rise.
As we come to prayer this morning, um, like Pastor Chuck, I would remind you of the prayer sheet in the back. I encourage you, if you have any names, to get them to Karen so they can get on the list and so that the prayer teams in the church can continue to pray for those on our, on our list. Um, at the conclusion of our prayer, we're going to have the Lord's Prayer, and that will be up on the screen for those who aren't familiar with it. Uh, I just want to say this morning, you know, we average 90 people roughly on a Sunday morning, and, and we all come from different walks of life. We have different situations, whether it be at home or be at work or whatever. You know, as we gather this morning, um, maybe there's something that is bothering you from the past week. Maybe an incident with a family member or something with a coworker or just a bad week. I would encourage you this morning as we go to prayer, just leave it here. Leave it at the, at the cross so we can clear our mind and we can clear our heart. So when we walk out of here, our burden is just a little later this morning. Let us not carry it with us. This is the opportunity to say, Lord, take this burden. I can't handle it. Take it from me. Release me from it. Open my mind. Give me a clear mind. Give me a clear heart. And let your Holy Spirit be able to open my ears because we want to hear the word that Reverend Mitchell has this morning. And we don't want to have, you know, too much going on up here. We want to be able to hear what the Lord has laid upon his heart. So as we go to prayer this morning, is there anything that's on your heart that's burdening you, bothering you, troubling you? Now it's the time. Lord, here it is. Take it from me, and let's go forward from there. So let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, as we gather this morning, we're thankful, first of all, that we have the opportunity to come such, to such a beautiful place to gather. We're so fortunate that we can sit in comfortable pews, that we can look around at the beautiful stained glass windows, and we're also enjoying the air conditioning on this hot day. So as we gather here in the comfort of our Sunday morning service, we think of those, Lord, who are not as fortunate in many ways. But one of the ways that is Unfortunate is for those that don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And that's why things like Vacation Bible School are so important in the life of the church. An opportunity for us to church to step up and get involved, to be able to spend time with the young ones and be able to introduce them to Jesus Christ, to get them on a faith journey where they can start reading their Bible, learning scripture, learning songs, learning who this Jesus is, and to learn how to live a life that would be pleasing to Jesus. So we thank you again, Lord, for those that were involved from the kitchen to doing lessons, every part, every part is vital. And even the unseen parts for those that were praying behind the scenes, for the leaders and the helpers and the children. We pray that, Lord, that maybe there was a new beginning in the lives of many this past week. And even though we may not see anything, Lord, let us not get discouraged. For we know that everything works out in your timing. And that your timing is always perfect. As we gather this morning, we think of Pastor Chuck who's away. We pray, Lord, that you would just direct him and guide him and 
use his leadership at the Lanco camp, and we look forward to his return to the pulpit next week. But we're so blessed to have his mom and dad here and how special they have become to us. And we look forward to the message that the Lord has laid upon Pastor Chuck's heart this morning. I pray, Lord, that as we continue our service, as I've said, if there's anything that's holding us back this morning, maybe there's a situation in our, in our family or a loved one or a coworker or, or whatever that's, that's bothering us that seems to have a sidetracked. Lord, let us just give this to you right now so that we can move forward from here with a clean heart and a clean mind to be able to hear the word. And we pray for a good week ahead. As we continue through the summer, Lord, we would pray for those that will traveling for vacations and whether it be camps or down the shore or wherever, Lord, just, just keep our family safe. We look forward to the concert ahead for a time of fellowship. You give us so many opportunities, Lord. Let us take advantage of them. Right now, Lord, we just give the rest of the service to you. And we pray that will be a blessing to you. We ask all these things in the name of Christ, who taught us to say when we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. At this time, Pastor Chuck is going to come up and he's going to lead us in our morning communion service. old-fashioned sound system. Every time I see this, I'm always reminded of the time I was in National Park and we had an older lady. I don't say old because I'm getting there. Set in the very last row on the right-hand side. She couldn't hear me, mostly because when I prayed, I would drop my voice. And so one day she says, will you do me a favor? Please go get a lapel mic. And she paid for it. She didn't, want to move. she didn't want to give up her seat back there. So she made me get a lapel mic. I'm always reminded when I got one of these on like this. The church we attend has one that goes over my ears. The problem is, is it stays there real nice because with these ears, they'll, you know, put something on there, they're not going anywhere. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him and seek to grow into his likeness. Let us draw near with faith, make a humble confession, and prepare to receive this holy sacrament. Let us bow for a moment of prayer. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own goodness, but in your unfailing mercies. We are not worthy that you should receive us, but give your word, and we shall be healed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That is proof of God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Lift up your hearts and give thanks to the Lord our God. You made us in, our, in your image to love and be loved. When we turned away and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. By the suffering, death, and resurrection of your only Son, Jesus Christ, you delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit.
on a night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which was given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice and union with Christ's offering for us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. Until Christ comes in final victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. May I have the helpers for us this morning? Peter, your wife? Oh, whoever else. Okay. Golly, I got trouble. <laughs> oh, there we go. I wondered. I was thought we were coming up short here. Do you want to take communion? That way you can play while everybody's filing down. And you're probably directing them. See ya. Sure. Oh. Oh. It's all right. I'll, I'll keep you. <laughs> the body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. I knew this girl when she was 16. The body of Christ given for you. Take and eat this remembrance of Christ died for you. And feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ sheds for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Little instruction before we start. If you go to pull a cup out of this tray and it gets a little tough, either leave it or twist it. Do not squeeze it. And that's a whole nother story. Ask me later. Lord, part your spirit upon these folks. Bless and use them, Lord, in your ministry wherever they may be, in Christ's name.
Let me finish with a, wow, turn me down just a hair. Let's finish with just a small prayer. Most bountiful God, we give you thanks for the world you've created, for the gift of life and for giving yourself to us in Jesus Christ, whose holy life, suffering, death, and resurrection have delivered us from slavery to sin and death. We thank you that in the power of your Holy Spirit, you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. We are your children, and yours is the glory now and forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay. Turn it over to you. Or not. It's a privilege not only to take communion, but it's also a privilege to be able to give back to God a small portion which he has allowed us to obtain. So at this time, I'm going to ask our ushers if they'll come forward so we can present our morning tithes and offering. At this time, with the children, please head to the back to meet with Miss Suzanne and Mrs. Biankowski for Sunday school. All right, let's continue our worship with our second hymn, hymn number 77, How Great Thou Art. Would you please rise?
My soul.